Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf, back here in the tour van with a couple of special guests from the University of Minnesota men's golf team. I have Bennett Swavely here with me at the desk and hitting golf shots today. I have the lefty, Ben Warian, today. And he right now, he's got his gamer three wood. And then uh, we actually have a special surprise for him. Bennett went out and picked a three wood from the inventory in our store. Um, surprise lefty three. There's not a lot of lefty three woods in there compared to the righties, no. but um, still a good amount to look from. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got one for you to compare, Ben, to your gamer. So let's start by uh, you maybe breaking down what your gamer three wood is for us right now. Yeah, so basically I have a TaylorMade Stealth 2, um, just standard, standard loft, standard lie, 15 degrees. I um, have a, a Ventus Black um, 8X uh, three wood shaft in here, um, so kind of on the heavier side. Um, and yeah, it's it's a nice setup for me. It gets the club kind of kind of staying in front of me, which I like. And yeah, it's been working working pretty well so far. Nice. Well, now is the reveal of the three wood that you'll be testing against your gamer. So oh Bennett, take it away here. What do we have? So we have the uh, Callaway XR three wood um, with a Speeder 565 Evolution stiff shaft. Oh, stiff there, shaft. We there we go. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably six seven years old yeah. maybe. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually I had the XR Pro in my bag for a, a long time. It's I if it's anything like the Pro, it's a very hot club face. Um, I do remember I had some issues with the whole control thing, but that yeah, <laughs> for me that's any club in the bag. Um, but this is gonna be fun because actually I don't think there's a super unrealistic chance that in terms of speed and distance it'll keep up really well with yeah, what you have there. Yeah, for so, sure could. Um, the thing that's gonna make a big difference is that shaft. Yeah, being you know one of the heavier I guess. Fairy wood shafts you can really get anywhere, heavier yeah. and stiffest versus this one um, might be make a pretty big difference for you. For sure. Uh, so what we're going to do, you're going to hit five shots with your gamer, three mm -hmm. wood, um, and then uh, we'll give you this one and we'll really start to get TrackMan uh, data for it. So. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. See what we got. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll we'll do. take it. I mean, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I'll do. We'll take it for the first one. See if we can get a little warmer Those here. Are a little more. Like, aren't they? That's yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, you're over three thousand spin. Pretty you're optimized. Carrying two sixty five. Yep. For only swinging at one hundred eight, it's pretty optimized. <laughs> oh, that's that a little, little cold. <laughs> this is a slight one. Oh, that's oh a work little hung in there. Okay. Hung in there. It did. That's so a good. nice thing about this club too. Yeah, nice I have and, a uh, feeling that that would that miss hit wouldn't be as good with this. Yeah, I think this club. Well, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say this is. Uh, oh, this it thing went two ninety five. I didn't even see that. This thing is very forgiving with the off center hit. I didn't realize it went two ninety five. Yeah, that's the thing with that with that stealth is those miss hits. Yeah, those miss hits um, get rewarded. Yeah, I'd be interested to see. Oh yeah. What? And we're back. What this would look like. 301. There we go. It's beautiful right there. So uh, Ben, how, how often, what's the ratio that you use this off the tee versus off the ground? Um, yeah. I'd say probably about 70% off the ground, 30% off really? the tee, something okay. like that. Yeah. yeah, 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 something like that. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, with how, how kind of far I carry it off the tee, usually on a lot of holes, like drivers is the, kind of the perfect call. Okay. Um, Ends up, uh, so yeah, I end up just hitting a lot of drivers usually when I play. Um, yep. This is certainly a nice one to have, sort of as a, as a fairway finder. Yeah. Um, still goes, goes a, a, a pretty good distance for me off the tee. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't carry as far, but definitely a little easier, as you can see here, to kind of hit like a little mm -hmm. bit of a runner as yeah. well. Uh, get it, get it sort of chasing out there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, definitely, definitely sure. use it off off the tee from time to time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's been the same little tight draw every single time, even yes. when he did have the slight kind of toe miss there. Yeah, yeah, it's been right. The same thing. We'll take it. Yes. All right. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> he did hit four did. golf shots there, or five golf shots. What did? Okay. And they're all the same number, I think. Pretty darn close. Yeah. Um, to hit the ball almost 300 yards and have the deviation be around six yards is pretty nuts. So 108 club speed, 161 ball speed. We're, we're at 149 with the smash, which is, 
I mean, that's pretty much perfect with the three yeah. wood. Yep. Yep. Uh, 2553 really allows you to get that chaser out there with the three wood. Hence, 296.8 on average. Um, and then let's just bring this up for fun. I mean, that's that's kind of dumb. It's pretty that's ridiculous. Dumb. That's yep. the carry. That's carry too. Yeah. Go to total. And um, if we go total, I mean, you got these three go. just chilling right past 300 yards, and yep. you could throw a blanket over those three. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's see what we got out of, out of this bad boy. Yeah, now. so now we've one. got the XR16 there. All right. Um, first, you put that down in the dress. You've got it. Um, tell me what you see that's different from your game. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't look too bad. Um, the shaft feels like it's about half the weight and definitely <laughs> got a little bit more uh, a little bit more flex. <laughs> so so we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got here. Um, but yeah, actually, actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, nice thing Bennett was pretty uh, pretty kind to me in picking something only only yeah. six years old. You'll see in the other other couple of videos with us. Uh, yeah, he could have been, other, he could have been a lot more. Yeah, mean Bennett to you. and Brock hit some some that were a little bit older to say the <laughs> least. So uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. See what we uh, what we got in the tank with this thing. Yeah, spin a lot more. Yes. So between like think, twenty five. I don't think he even reached one sixty two with the other. Oh, wow. See that? Yep. Yep. All right. A lot of spin. A little mm -hmm. spinnier, say the least. That that checks out. Yep. It's also it's a lighter of... club, so he's going to swing it a little faster. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that was a uh, <laughs> right toey. Uh, yeah, Ooh. there you go. So you said that was toey? Uh, very. <laughs> very. That was, uh, that face was pretty there. open coming okay. down, too. <clears throat> So probably a little tougher for you to control the face with this shaft. A little, little bit, a little bit, a little, <laughs> bit. A little bit for sure. We'll we'll see what happens here. We'll just for fun give one a little bit extra gas and see oh, what I happens. I like that. I'm all for a little extra gas, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah those balls. Well, that one was kind of too. Kind of hit. Ooh, 164 with that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah, just one time club speed with that too. Just spinnier and then the. Yeah, like we said, the face control mm -hmm. down a little bit. Uh, I am excited to pull up both dispersion circles at once. Yeah, here. and just <laughs> going to be very little and very mm -hmm. large. Yeah, that one's just straight off the rack. Oh, we'll yeah. take that one. Oh, wow, we got there. one good one. All right, there it is. Throw it in the we bag. We got one good one. We can't <laughs> to throw it in the bag. That was the best throw one yet. Throw it in the bag. <laughs> Best one be yet. Because we're going to see yeah. the dots on they're, the map. There's going to be one <laughs> just awesome ball right down the middle. And we're going to yeah. have one way left, one just way a, right. Or actually two way right now. Just a tight little draw. All right. 111.6 right. on that one, B-Swift. Yeah, what do you think not, of that, huh? That's not too shabby not for too you. Not too bad for me. That's no. Not too bad the, for an old guy like myself. qualifier at the end for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got the no laying up uh, logo there. <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Do, do we want to do the numbers first, or do we want to do the dispersion first? We want dispersion. To dispersion. Dispersion. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the dispersion. Moment of truth. Boom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a slight, slight okay. difference. You could argue. I mean, yeah. The best yeah, we shot could of argue, the day. Yeah. The best shot of the day was with the. Yep. The Absolutely. Club. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, <laughs> we got one over here. Yep. And uh, yeah, actually, you got two in the fairway. You got two in the fairway, two yeah. for five. A couple of yonder. might be uh, might well, be routine on the other two, but yeah, we got, you got two. Yeah, in well, here I'm actually so I'm looking at this this particular hole layout. Realistically, these are probably in play over here. You know, that's might true. Have a little that's bit of true. Tree trouble on this saying. one. Yeah, there's you know, there's you might, a little bit of room over there. Yeah, Looks this like one this is, one's definitely going to be a problem. I think yeah, this tree is going to cause some issues. That one could be an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, left is definitely not the miss on this hole. And then let's bring up these these numbers here. So. Kind of not surprising to see these two columns stay very competitive, right? Yep. Um, because a, you're that's a pretty light shaft compared to what you were using, so probably easier to swing a little faster, yep. right? And still a hot golf club in terms. Mm -hmm. of, I mean, the face is still that's you know uh, going to produce some speed, but that's for sure that's sort of where the similarities end. I think. I mean, yes. we did have kind of pretty similar carry distance, mm -hmm. um, but you can just see how. I guess again that dispersion just yeah. really ballooned um, for sure to a large number. You're launching that one a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, of whether that was something that, that makes you, sense. Is it? Yeah. I just guess get a little bit more, a little bit more give at the yeah, bottom. Yeah. You actually yeah. average 24 feet higher in the peak height of, yeah. the, of the shot. Mm -hmm. So. Um, for sure. Yeah, but I think to your point though, Bennett, you mentioned in the middle there that um, 
it kind of shows the importance of getting fit. Oh, yeah. And uh, I know Absolutely. this is, I know you guys at a very high level of playing, you guys were always getting fit in multiple times a year, right? And or at least checking things out, making sure things are still dialed yeah. in. Um, but it does still, I mean, it's relevant for the average player that might come in and like you said, just grab something off the rack that they yeah. like or think they look, they might look cool or whatever, yeah. but um, throw it in the bag and it might be completely different yeah. and, and not great for their for their oh, game, yeah. for their swing, yeah. I mean, especially 100%. the shaft part. I mean, you can yeah, see exactly. the difference in the sure. shaft. For you, you felt it. Right exactly. Away. Yeah, I mean, I, I would argue that the shaft, getting fit for the correct shaft, is almost more important than getting fit mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. correct club head. Yeah. Honestly, like that's yeah so huge. Like you can see, just for just for having control over the face, control over what the ball is doing, mm -hmm. um, it, it's so huge to mm -hmm. play the play the correct shaft. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I and, think, and again, these are very different golf yeah. shots, but I think that still rings true, I think. For sure. I mean, yeah, like you think about Ben was, you know, an average consumer just came in here and picked a club up that he thought was, you know, the right club head, but didn't even look at the shaft. I think, you know, mm -hmm. getting fit for that shaft is just as important as getting the right head. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, it was, this was a fun some, one to watch, especially difference. those first five shots, by the way, with your, I mean, <laughs> I think we can conclude that he can probably just keep his gamer in the yeah. back, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Don't need to switch no, that yeah. one out, I don't think. No, nope, uh, what a crowd. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, your three wood's fine. Don't need this one in the bag. I, that's probably going to stay yeah, out for now. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just give this one back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, hey, that was a good choice that you made, though, for yeah. the sake of, hey, that was pretty good mm -hmm. good club to find there. Uh, sure. Great swings by you, Ben. Really good stuff. Uh, well, golfers, make sure you get fit for the right golf shaft in all of your clubs. Uh, could be a big difference in your game. So. For sure. Uh, Bennett, thanks for joining. Thank you. Uh, ben, thanks for swinging. Um, great stuff, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it was you. A lot of fun.